so you know, you that's how you love. That be like raping children, and um, the, them same churches that be stealing people money. You talking about those same churches, right? That be telling people that you got to do this, that, and a third, and it goes against people. Peace is that those churches you're talking about? I've actually been a licensed minister. <laughs> Have you lied? Yes. Have you stolen? Yes. Have you had sex outside of marriage? Yes. Dang, if the person that ordained me, they see this, they're going to be like, I cannot believe her. So I am Winston Mayer with The Blessing Report, and we are with? Abby. And um, do you give us permission to use this footage? Yes. So name, where you're from, and what do you do in life? So I am Abby. I'm not going to give you my full name, right? Okay, you're going to cut it out, right? Okay, so it's Abby. Um, and then what was the other question? I'm from New York. And I am, so I do a variety of things. I, you know, I'm, I'm into the entrepreneur thing. So it's a bunch of things that I do. But as of right now, I'm just forming everything up. That's books, hair, um, shirts, different things. Um, if time and money were not factors, what would you do? If time and money were not factors, what would I do? Like, what do you mean? Kind of what I do now. I I don't know. I like to live a free life. I'm a very free spirited person, and I only like to do what is put in my spirit to do. Yeah, that's it. What is love? I think the best example of love that you could get um, is actually like you know, not to be churchy, but the demonstration of the relationship that we form with God is unconditional and is pure. And is is without limit. Um, one question, two parts. What happens when we die? And if you were to die today, where would you go? Honestly, I don't know what really happens when we die. Like I used to be really heavy into like, you know, the heaven and hell thing. But personally, that's not so much of my belief. I don't know. I think that heaven and hell it actually is in us right now. So how you choose to live your life and be connected to like you know the spirit and the holy spirit is what determines what you're experiencing so it's you know we can choose situations and it can put us in a hell or we choose situations and it can give us a heavenly feeling here on earth um and then you uh-huh and and then you said something else i'm sorry oh that was the part where i said i don't believe oh if i died um I don't know, I'm going to the king zone. Wherever that Holy Spirit that I be praying to is at, that's where I'm going. Like, I used to be really heavy into, like, you know, the heaven and hell thing. But personally, that's not so much of my belief. I don't know, I'm going to the king zone. King zone. I think that heaven and hell, it actually is in us right now. So I don't know, I'm going to the king zone. So, what is sin? Um, what is sin? I don't believe in what is sin. I don't, I don't, I honestly, I don't know what sin is, um, and I only don't. And, I, and I'll elaborate on it. It's funny because I really don't know so much of what sin is because I know the definition of sin according to the church, right? But when I do put my mind into thought and I begin to think about, like you know, like the relationship I have with God, I think about a lot of us is really just trying to survive. So to say something like, oh, you know, sin, 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 I think we're wrong at a lot of things, but the creator never expected us to be right, if you will. So to say something like, oh, you know, like, we're wrong about a lot of stuff, but I, I, like I said, I don't think the creator expects us to be right because we're never going to get it right. And, you know, Jesus talked about that in Mark, so. You got my next one. Who is Jesus, and what did he come to do? So, <laughs> all right, so you asking me questions where it's like I redefine my definition of God, right? Because I didn't want to learn God through what man said God was. I had, that had to be a personal thing for me. I believe that Jesus exists. I don't think he was as uptight as people make him to be. Um, and I also feel like even with that whole, you know, those definitions, I feel like that was just used to control a lot of people. The Holy Spirit is real. The fruit of the Spirit is real. I believe whatever this, you know, whoever Jesus was, was real because of like his actions and stuff like that. It was always something positive. He was always around the people who were not favorable. Um, I think 
if, if so what did he come to do i think G jesus came to bring people together like not to look at people like oh i'm better than you like he was a very humble man um the bible said he died for our sins <laughs> but um you funny but yes Jesus is the name that I do pray and um, but my relate like you know me learning myself and then envisioning this man that I've never met that spirit that I never met I don't feel like it's just as uptight but definitely a loving spirit so maybe he came to love came to sh you know came to show us how to be there for each other without judgment uh, what's your favorite Bible verse my, fa my favorite what I got a few but I would have to say uh, help me with this but I believe it's the one where it's like you can't know where you go oh I don't know I have a few but no, where's all right one of them would be be a light unto my path and uh but that one so that's Psalms 119 okay. um your words say uh, um a lamp upon my feet a light upon my path right and i believe that word is, is is in us you understand like even before you even read it or anything it's like the holy spirit speaking to our spirit you know that direction that you get from god and um not only that there was another one and i bet you you know what this is but it's um it has to do it has it has to do with um where can i go where you can't if I make my bed in hell, you are with me, or yeah, so that just gives me the confidence that God is always with me. Like, I used to be really heavy into, like, you know, the heaven and hell thing, but personally, that's not so much of my belief. I don't know, I'm gonna say Kane's out. That is Psalms. Oh my goodness, that's a good one. Yeah. That's kind of a really good that's, one. That's, that's kind of like for the lamp unto my feet one, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. All right. So I think it's the last question. If it is, um, are you a Christian? Have you been baptized with the Holy Spirit? I've actually been a licensed minister, <laughs> but that's just not the lifestyle. That um, not saying that it's not the lifestyle for me. I feel like my calling in life is definitely to inspire and to help. Um, and I do feel like my life. I'm really called to be a lot like Jesus. And when I say that, paying attention to the characteristics of God, it was never judgmental. He was never putting, trying to put people in a box. And I'm not a Christian because I do feel like Christianity is more like, you know, it has the perimeters of only this and that's just not how i am i'm a free-spirited person there was no mistake how god made me and i do put my heart before god every day with my actions and everything but i don't i don't get too deep into it and that has given me a much more freer mindset versus before i used to be like oh my god i did this i did that I did that. like i used to be policing myself spiritually policing myself all the time so i don't do that no more and so like yeah i believe in god heavily like i i i i, I try to like all day and I don't like I'm not but I'm not a, like, I don't I'm a believer I don't claim myself as a Christian though dang if the person that ordained me they see this they're gonna be like I cannot believe her I like it because it's honest so thanks for the time I am going to I'm gonna press back on you okay. a little bit all right so um, who is Jesus and oh I didn't even ask you what was your favorite question what was my favorite question like that you asked me um, it probably has, uh, I don't know, hold on, what was my favorite question? I don't know, I don't remember, I don't, I was just talking, I'm rambling. Maybe the, the Bible scriptures? Yeah, yeah. So, um, who is Jesus, right? So Jesus is both, um, the Son of God and God himself, right? And what he came to do, he came to do two things in the world. It says that he has come to free the world from sins and um, also to destroy the works of the devil. So sin is the work of the devil. And so you're like, hey, I don't really like heaven and hell and I don't like judgment. But um, your biggest day in your life is going to be the day of judgment. Well, like, belief, right? No, so it's not a belief. So that's what I'm saying. I'm about to press it back on everything you believe, right? Yeah. So, um, I don't know if you ever like consider like the devil, but the devil has come to kill, steal, and destroy. And so when he rebelled against God, he actually sent one third of the angels down into exile and they're going they're going to hell, right? And so he's doing the same thing with humans. And so hell's actually not made for humans, it's made for the devil and his angels. But the only thing is, is that Jesus is the way, 
the truth and the life, right? And so you you have to be a Christian and you have to be a believer to inherit eternal life. And so what the devil has done, he has told people like, hey, you can come any way to God and you'll still get in. That's not what the Lord says. He says that if anyone wants to come to the Father, they must come through the Son. And so that's why I'm here today. I'm just preaching the gospel, the good news of Jesus. And of like, believe, right? Oh, yeah. So, and, <laughs> and absolutely, yeah, because at oh, one yeah. point, nobody could have ever, no, at one point, no one could ever change my mind about anything. But like I said, um, it's, and I, I do, I, it is, is my belief. You know, I respect Christians' belief system, and then I respect my belief system. And then for this experience that we're having on Earth, it's all about what you believe in, right? So you, 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 it, and that's just what it is. Because I can't see, for me, my perspective, I can't see a God creating a world that He still sends to hell. It just—it's like a, a mother giving birth to a child that still says, "I'm gonna." destroy you like it doesn't make sense to me not only that there are books written by ministers who says once you say that you've accepted jesus christ as your lord and savior there's so many there's so much contradiction to it that it's like okay well am i believing in it what like what's really happening so i just know i have a personal relationship with god and that's my business and whatever somebody else do oh it is most definitely oh it ain't the church's business no you think so I think so um, because we're a family. So that's how you love. Children and um, the, them same churches that be stealing people money. You're talking about those same churches, right? That be telling people that you got to do this, that, and a third, and it goes against people. Peace. Is that those churches you're talking about? I've actually been a licensed minister. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to say Kings out. No. So Jesus says he's coming back for one church. He says in the last days there will be pro false prophets and false apostles. People that will come in his name and do nothing that he said. So he says to love the widow, to take care of the orphan, um, to do all the things that you would expect from a Christian. So all the ones that you just listed, the Bible says that they will be in hell because they're not Christians. God is not religion, though. If you're telling me that there's people born on this planet created by God and they never they're never exposed to Christianity, are you trying to say to me that they're not of God? So um, this is Romans one. Um, it says that all creation points to the glory of God, and it also says that the Lord does not leave Himself without a witness. So even if you have like someone like in the Middle East, I don't know if you keep up with what's happening in the Middle East right now, Muslims. No evangelist, no missionary. They're having dreams of Jesus and converting out of Islam and coming to Christianity. So, like in your scenario, you're like, hey, no one's going to tell them about Jesus. The Lord told them. Yes. Wrong. Yes. So you have no. I'm just for real. Like, Jesus wasn't a Christian. He was a Jew. So we're some people be Jews, not Christians. So technically, yes. So Christ, no. I mean, like. You're, you know, you, you know enough of the Bible to be dangerous, so whoever. Nah, so no, I'm for real. No, that's what I said. No, so it's um, Galatians. It talks about having um, exception, like essentially deceiving yourself, right? So that's why I said no, 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 no. no just, yeah, if you have a question, so I'm. Like, it's not no because you got to remember, I was an ordained minister, right? So there were things that. You know what I mean? Not in just one church, but you experience a bunch of things in different churches. But you can't tell, no one can tell another person what's going to happen with their life, right? No, you cannot. You can't because you're not God. So this is the problem that we have with ministers and stuff now. You want to you wanna lead people to Christ, but you, you're also trying to, you're, you, you, if you don't be careful, you're actually trying to be God to these people. So I don't. I shouldn't have to come to you to get revelation about where I'm going or where my spirit is being led to. That's why I have the Most High. He is my Creator. We have that connection. But people, man, think that, oh no, it's me. You got to get in tune with because oh, no. I'm the right one, and that's not how that works. And so, and I thank God that I have spiritual freedom, and I'm very okay with who I am and my relationship with God has not ceased but no man could ever make me feel insecure about my relationship with the most high that's why I said it's whatever you believe because your belief is not everybody else's belief and because you believe it it doesn't make it true it's true for your life but it doesn't mean that it's true for anybody else's life and, and, and I'm perfectly fine with that that's why I say I respect Christians I respect Muslims the way I see God I can go in any part of this world and spread the love of, love of God because God is in my heart he might not, he might not be what people consider oh look, look look how she acts or look how 
he's in my heart, right? So what I'm more concerned about is this homeless people, you know, the people that's hungry, the children who need mentors and help. Not to be um, ridiculed or, 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 or to feel convicted about themselves. No, we already live a life that we don't even understand at times. We already go through things in life that we don't understand at times. So the best thing you can do is just let God handle it and just be at peace. But I'm not into no man making me feel like I have to limit myself or be afraid to live life in a certain way because I can't see how a God could create a world and then say, oh, and guess what? After this, I'm sending everybody to hell. After you've been raped by your family, I'm going to send you to hell. And after you've been tortured and abused and done that, I can't see that happening. I'm sorry. You know, and like I said, ever since I stopped believing that way and stopped looking at God that way, I'm free. I don't feel restricted. I most definitely am. And I do feel for anybody who has to feel like they have to walk this tight line in order to be loved by God. Yeah, it is. Because, yeah. We only have 10 commandments. It's not that many. Why only how to be just 10? I mean, if you want to break it down, we only have two. Love God and love um, people as your, yeah, as, your, as yourself. So, how about, I'm going to measure... In the book of Mark, you ain't going to get nothing right. So now, he comes and he says that, and then you still believe that there's stuff... If he's if, if Jesus came and said that, there's no, you're not going to get it right. So there's two things you just have to do. And God still turns around and says, oh, well, I'm still sending you to hell. But Jesus... Uh, so, it says anyone have who you died is... Huh? Have you died before? I die daily. You gotta be a little because you gotta think about what you're saying. I know what I'm saying. You understand? Like, no. You don't know what happens after this life. You do. You don't because you never died. We don't know. You don't think I died daily? You were you was reincarnated? You know I mean, you was uh, you were reincarnated. Sorry, <laughs> you came back. You no, so, no, so, I guess, uh, and we can cut it short. I know. <laughs> oh no, I mean we can keep going, but it's been 12 minutes. And it was a one-minute interview. I mean we can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but um, and you can have the last word if you want. But no, I, no, I, I don't want it. But um, I'll just put out whoever, right? Um, you talked a lot about the heart and you talked a lot about love, right? So, um, Jeremiah says that the heart is deceitfully wicked. What man can know it? So, you don't even know your own heart and you don't even know your own self. And that's just the reality of I me too. I See, I, that's what I said. You think you do. Your heart is... No, still I know for sure that I do. If you don't know your heart, you know okay. your thoughts, then you're both. All right. So, that's number one. I, we don't agree. It's fine. Um, number two, you talked about your love, right? You think you love others and so on and so forth. I'm going to measure your love by the Bible, and I'm going to see if you love, all right? All right, so this is um, 1 John. It says, if you love, you keep my commandments. So I'm just going to ask, like, <laughs> yeah, you can get close. <laughs> I know, you can come close because you got to get the frame anyway. I was off the frame the whole time, though. Um, a little bit, but Maybe. it is. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to measure your love just by the commandments um do you lie i do okay um have you stolen i stole yes <laughs> yes all right you have stolen um have you ever coveted and you can let me know if you know what coveting or you need to explain coveting is wanting something that doesn't belong to you like um someone else's career someone else's life job no. um all right cool um have you ever um held um, unforgiveness with someone like yes. they hurt you. Right. Dang, I'm not getting your answers. All right. um, have and you I'm held unforgiveness? Yes, I have. But I have you lied? Yes. Have you stolen? Yes. Have you had sex outside of marriage? Yes. Okay. So, by the scriptures, that have means you? that, yes, oh. but I'm also cleansed by the blood of Jesus because I only believe that he's the only way, right? So, I can't receive his forgiveness and also live my own life. So that's like I didn't say. Are you like, asking me if I'm doing that now? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not even doing none of that. Oh now. yeah, that's the crazy part. No, but I'm, I'm just asking. You. So, ever, yeah. No, but so the question is just showing like you're like, hey, I'm loving and this is love, right? But it says the greatest love is uh, for a friend to lay down their life for a friend, right? 
So for you to actually love, it would mean that you would stop sinning. So for you to actually love, for you to actually love, you'll just have to stop sinning. For me to yes. actually love, I'll just love. No, so that's what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm different saying, belief system. Oh, all right, cool. All right, <laughs> last one, last one. All right. <laughs> I'm still going to measure your love because you said you got it. I All do, right. I know I do. So, um, are you impatient? No, my patience has gotten better. Better? Better, but are you impatient? No, not really. Not as much as it used to be. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, did I ask you, do you... So, oh, you did admit that you sinned, I guess. Or I was. You, did you say you sin or you don't subscribe to sin? Or what you, was said, you? You, you said something about the commandments. I told you, yeah, I break those all the time. Oh, okay, cool. So, According least, to the Christian world. Yeah, yeah. okay. Alright, love is patient. Um, have you ever been unkind? Yeah. Just recently. <laughs> and I still feel loved. So, <laughs> I still know I'm loved. So, okay. <laughs> I like this place. <laughs> Okay. And um, are you proud? Are you like, um, like I guess a little arrogant? No, I'm fine. Okay. Um, do you keep record of wrong? When people do you wrong, do you remember that? At one point, yeah, I used to. Okay. So, um, this is, you, you know the scriptures. First Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. Yeah. It doesn't envy. It doesn't boast. That's it. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't keep it. any uh, record of wrong. Do, yes. Yeah, so. It don't keep any record of wrong. Did you just hear that? Yeah. So, so did I, you talk, listen, yeah. the fruit of the spirit is, it doesn't keep any record of wrong, right? No, 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 no listen. So that's the, because wait, I know wait. you're going to try to no, twist no, it. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not, not twisting it. No, let me no, finish wait, that wait, off. I hear, I wait. So, um. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, or whatever. But the fruit of love is what you're saying. That's not totally clarity I wanted to say. But even for <laughs> that to be in the Bible, for God to say He loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, but then you yeah. turn wait, wait. around and what's the other half of that? That's a very important scripture. Well, you know the finishing it with where you you know you accept God. But no, I, no, 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 no. I don't know. What's the wait, word? it's important. <laughs> Um, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So again, even in his love description... You think um, that everlasting life is here or is after death? Oh, uh, definitely after death. Oh, you think so? Yeah. On media, why you gonna see me? You gonna be like, oh my God, <laughs> this is not what I thought. Like, I used to be really heavy into like, you know, the heaven and hell thing, but personally, that's not so much of my belief. I don't know, I'm going to say King's out. I, I definitely pray that you'll be there. And um, as long as you... It's very Yo, interesting. Chosen, I am, baby. Wait, but he says those who are in Christ are chosen. So you can't know God by a book. You, you don't that. believe so? Wait, Let me tell you something. But he said he you revealed himself by, by that. You can't know God by a book. Because if you're really? telling me that man can write a book and tell you who God is, listen, if okay. man can write a book and tell you who God is, then that same God can speak to your spirit today and you can write your own book. You cannot tell me that that same God that spoke to Abraham, Jacob, and Joseph is not speaking to you right now. You don't think he can speak to you and give you revelation? Oh, no, wait, don't you don't wait. think people can take the book and say their own little twist to it? No. Oh, you don't wait. think so? Wait. Oh, wow. No. I'm telling you, you cannot know God by a book. So, I'm going to let you know, this is Hebrews. Um, I, I think 412 it says it says the um, scripture is God breathed right so these are not just men making it up the Holy Spirit is literally breathed through them so that's why I actually so have you received the baptism of the Holy fast, Spirit right? um, I, I, so I told you that people are false prophets wait right, so wait so why are you getting so advice? So you know I've been real nice no, I have I've so been real cordial no, no, no. So what do you wait you roll my you roll your eyes you said you were kind you, you're not being kind I have a name call I haven't raised my voice no 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 you know why because you trying to deviate from it now Wait, what do you mean? Because look, I'm asking you, I said... No, I can answer your question, but you, you don't see your little nuances at all? No, I've been doing that. So look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now, I'm, I'm being honest. You don't think... So, you saying that they could be false prophets. You don't think people who wrote these books were false prophets? Yes. And so how you know a false prophet? It says every person who has not um, confessed that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh and that Jesus was raised from the dead and confessed that he is Lord is a spirit of a false prophet. So how do I know how to measure a false prophet well, by his revealed scripture. And so people don't like the lordship of God. Like, like so you say like, hey, 
you, you believe in the Creator, the Most High, and so on and so forth. Do you think he's Lord, he, Lord over your life? Like, he can do whatever he wants. Yes, I right? absolutely do. When I right. chose wrong things, see, I have a personal relationship with oh, yeah. God. That's, that's why the church cannot too. tell me oh, yeah. what is right and what is wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's what I know in my spirit for sure. Right. I can't go nowhere and somebody be like, you know, you're wrong for what you're doing. No, why? Because I've been deep into that. And then when, when things happen in my life, God shows me that he was still there. Oh, yeah. You cannot tell me that same God that shows me that he's there for me. He was turned around and be the same God to say, oh, uh, I was there for you, but ooh, I'm sending you to uh, hell. Church makes God sound like he don't know what he's doing. And he definitely knows what he's doing. And I don't think he's church to let me know God is in my life. And that's just that. So, thank you for the interview. Wait, um... I do want one more day. It was, okay. a, it was a little spicy. Yeah, um, is there anything? You <laughs> no, I, I, I don't really care. I, I'm really, I don't, I'm fine with a pushback. Um, is there anything you want to prepare for? Like honestly, like <laughs> not, I know it was a little back and forth, um, but uh, I would yeah, like, like I'm yeah. Always, if it's from a pure heart, then yeah, yeah. It's so <laughs> just like like something that you mentioned in regards to like forgiveness. I want to like really like holding on to things that people yeah. have done, but like I'm. Right before I came here, yeah. I was doing a lot of prayer and I was like, God, you know, continue to be in my heart about a lot of situations. Yeah. So I'm glad to know that that's happening for me. That's why I say I feel very secure. God is my father, so nobody can make me feel no different. And, you know, like you have children and your children be rounding off with your love will never change for your children. You can still want your children in your home, you know, so it don't matter how far your children run and they need you be like, no, that is my child. And I can't see God creating humans like that. Love each other like that. He has a different type of mind. So just you know, my heart is just more open to like forgiveness yeah. and stuff like that. Like I realized that I was ordering a lot of things in my heart, yeah. but I'm, I, I I know that that spirit is like one of things that we need to use that way. That's that. Amen. <laughs> so I got Capri with you. Oh no! You literally said what you need prayer for, so I wanted to pray for you. Just that freedom, just to let go of others. And Lord, you say in your word, if we do not forgive others their trespasses, our Father in heaven will not forgive us. So Lord, we just release anyone that she has in her mind right now, um, that she just renounces any spirit of unforgiveness, that just keeps her heart down, anything that's holding her up. And Lord, I also thank you, Lord, that you just show her how great the blood of Jesus, just dying for her on the cross and forgiving her of all of her sins. Let the blood be on her mind. Let the blood be in her spirit. Let her feel um, that your Holy Spirit on the inside of her, and that same spirit will just have her just to uh, let go of everyone else. That you're going to be on the place where she's 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 going to be on the place where she